Hey guys, so today I have a really fun video. We are going to do a DIY eyelash tint. I'm so excited. I've honestly been wanting to film this video forever. I just have never gotten around to doing it. So I bought the tint off of Amazon. It's called Reflect, Reflect, Reflecto Sill. Looks like this. And it is number two blue black. So I did lots of research and this seems to be what people were using. So I just picked it up. Um, instead of getting the developer that comes with it or that you're supposed to get, I actually am just gonna use Peroxide, which a lot of people in the comments of this product here said to use. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's just jump right into it. All right, so I'm just going to pop this open and I have this little dish here that's used for like hair color. So we're just gonna squirt it in here. Don't know how much to use, but just do as much as you think you should. Hmm. That should be enough, right? Okay, so that's how much I'm using. So then people said to use like three or four drops of peroxide. So I'm just gonna do three or four drops, so. We'll try it. Let's do one more. Okay. Woo. So then it said just to stir it. So I'm going to stir it. And it said it should be like a thick paste. It shouldn't be like watery or anything. Okay. So this looks like a thick paste to me. I'm a little concerned because it's like purple but whatever. Okay, so next I'm going to take, oh, it came with a little stick to mix it. I didn't even know that. Okay, well, good to know. I have this mascara brush that I took off of my L'Oreal Telescopic and I cleaned it and that's what we're gonna use to apply this dye. So I'm gonna take some petroleum jelly. This is, ew. 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 <laughs> And I'm just going to apply it to my eyelids, like the top and then underneath, so I don't get any of this dye on me, because I do not want that. Okay, so we are gonna look like a hot, greasy chicken. A rotisserie chicken. Ah! I'm kinda nervous to do this. I feel like some stuff you should just let the professionals do, but it's worth a shot, you know? So now I'm gonna take my mascara brush and then just coat it with the product. Oh Lord. <laughs> Here we go. We're just, we're just gonna go in and do it. So I'm gonna be very careful and I'm gonna try not to talk. <laughs> I'm also gonna try not to get my hair in it. Oh, that would be bad. And then I'm gonna do the bottom too, or yeah, I'm gonna do the top of them. that's pretty well coated so I'm gonna get more into my bottom lashes which I'm kind of terrified about because my bottom lashes are super tiny all right I'm gonna have to put this like up close I'm sorry you guys going through and trying to clean up underneath my eye. Okay, so I'm going to read the instructions and see how long it says to let it sit. 
says to sit, let it sit for five to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna let it sit and I will be back. But this is what it looks like right now. So I will see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so it has been the allotted time. So now I'm just going to take a wet washcloth and just wipe off this product. Here they are. I can definitely tell a difference. So the bottom washes were really hard to get, but I think it worked pretty well. Um, I definitely have smaller eyelashes on my bottom. Um, I don't use eyelash serum on my bottom lashes, just on my top lashes, which I use Maxi Lash, and I'll link all of that on the screen below, also in my description box. But yeah, I'm super happy with how they turned out. So I'm just going to use this eyelash curler. So this is a heated eyelash curler from Chella Beauty. And I'm just gonna curl my lashes to see what they look like with the tint and with the curl. So it heats up, so the green light means it's on. And then you basically just hold it underneath your lashes for like 10 seconds and yeah. It works so much better when you already have mascara on, but it does work this way too. And it's not gonna like burn you or anything. It doesn't get that hot. You can see it looks really weird, but it does work. So I thought about doing like an eyelash lift like at a professional place, but I didn't, I chose not to. I did a DIY one time and it worked fine, but I did get some of the product in my eye and, I I and the lift didn't last that long. But I also didn't like like how it made my lashes like super crazy long and like touching my eyebrows. But yeah, here is how the heated curler works. So, hmm, does a good job, doesn't it? I like it, I like to use it a lot better once you put mascara on and then use this, but using it by itself works fine too. So this is great to do if you want like natural looking lashes. If you don't want to have to wear mascara, just tint your eyelashes, curl them, and you're good to go. So I'm going to do a little slow-mo so you guys can see how they really look. So that is it you guys. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you've ever tinted your eyelashes, let me know what you use. If you use anything different than I did, I would love to hear from you. Um, also, if you try this method, let me know. Send me some pictures. I'd love to see. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.